Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome to a game called Game Dev Tycoon. I have no intention whatsoever of making this into a series. I just kind of wanted to get in and play it a little bit. It's kind of been chilling on my computer, so here we are. Um, I do still plan on playing Corpse Party. I just haven't been in the mood for it, and I don't want to record something that I'm not into because, you know, I'll just be like, uh, and I don't want to be like that. So we're going to be playing Game Dev Tycoon. I've got a little picture of a sword below me um, because it's a gamer sword. And see, it's got a lot of stuff in it, like that's gamer base because Game Dev Tycoon. Anyways, and yeah. Um, so, hi. Let's get into it. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, creating the best-selling games, game fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. What do we name our company? Obviously, my player name is Lunar Knight. Because, duh. Uh, my company name... How about Lunar Games? Here, I'll even spell it right. I am a female. Yeah. What does this do? Oh, I can change my like hair color and stuff. Huh. No, stop. What does this do? Change my top? Oh. Okay. I'll wear a red shirt. I look like I'm at work. <coughs> Supporters, support a young startup by the game. Aw, thanks. That's so sweet of you. Okay, what do I need to do? Develop a new game. All right, before developing, before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create. In your, give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Okay, your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. All right. Hey, kitty cat. You want to be in a video game? Game number one. All right, let's see. What are we going to make it? Let's make a spy game. And we're going to make it a spy adventure game on the... Ooh. Let's make it on the PC. I don't have a lot of money right now. Let's make... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's Let's be real coy. With, with the name here. Yeah. Let's we get some 2D graphics in there. I don't want it to be a text-based game. Mm. All right. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description on the different areas, please refer to the help menu. All right, let's make uh, the story and the quest the highest. The edge could go down a bit. It's not a big deal. And the gameplay, it's also all right. I kind of want to just focus on the story. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, uh, the game better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. All right. Cool. Um, let's do dialogues way up. Um, put the AI up a little bit. And the level design could be down some. I want to focus on dialogues. It's a spy adventure. What are you doing? Do you want to say hi? <coughs> During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increase its costs. You will also see graphic type, which you stop. You selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. All right. So let's do sound design up a little bit. I want pretty decent graphics in the world design. So let's just make them kind of balanced. Uh, and I've got the, of course, basic sounds and stuff. Yep. <coughs> yeah, 
$50,000 to start my own game company. Like, what the hell? The development of your first game is not complete. You can press finish uh, to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need cash, you can't afford to wait. I would need to fix bugs. Ooh. You good? The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is complete, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. All right. New topic, new combo. Okay. All right. Yo, release game. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. You should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. The first reviews of our new get lonely released game Spy Adventure came in. Hey, I got a seven. Star games. <laughs> Enjoyable. Aw. Cool. Can I get another seven or higher? Yay. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and create a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the actions menu. Generate game report or spy adventure. Lunar Games, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Spy Adventure. The game has received favorable reviews. With such good start, Lunar Games are sure to gain fans quickly. Cool, maybe I should make my own game. I would really love to make a Spy Adventure game. Spy Adventure sold 6,000 units in the first week on the market. We made it charts at number 35. Oh, wow. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the, the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Spy Adventure was so successful that we now have 26 fans. Oh, hell yeah. Apparently, I'm good at this. Game reports are a good way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. All right. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint, try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. All right. Ooh, 50 RP. New topic. Mm, no. No. No thanks. I want to let's develop a new game. Um, let's make a sequel. Spy Adventure. Actually, let's do a let's do a slightly different game. I want to do a post-apocalyptic game. And I'm going to make it um action. Pick platform. We're gonna make it on the PC. Adventure is really good on there. RPG simulation or strategy. Let's do it on the G64 this time. Let's make it um and I have the money for it, so let's make 2D graphics. Um, let's focus on the gameplay and the engine this time. The story quests don't have to be as much because it's an action game. Uh, there we go. Spy Adventure has achieved company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. It's an important milestone. Hell yeah. Spy Adventure is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be not very important for this type of game. You don't say. Platform genre match PC adventure. Great. Um, let's do the AI up and the level design up. We'll bring the dialogues down. It's an action game. We don't need to do that much action. <coughs> mm. um, 
the graphics to be up a little bit because it's an action game. So let's bring this down a little bit. All right, I could finish the game, but I want to get rid of my bugs first. I don't need the cash right now. All right, we good. Spy Adventure is off the market. What? New topic, new combo. Cool. Ooh, people don't like it nearly as much. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but it needs it needs more. Yeah. Right, Spy Adventures now off the market. Cool, it's a little lot. Recent market studies suggest that it uh, is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, great availability, and flexible hardware configuration. Yeah. Say that, that might spell the end of computing hardware manufacturers. All right, develop a new game. Let's go ahead and work on Spy Adventure 2. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Generate game report for totally not Fallout. Hmm. Uh. Graphics need to be important. Okay, so graphics need to be up a little bit more there. So let's go ahead and make Spy Adventure 2. Spy, uh, oh wait. you g We get a uh, ability to make a sequel later, don't we? Let's make a text-based RPG. Uh, spy RPG. go. Yeah, still RPG. Mm, PC, yeah. Cool. Oh, do I not? Why? Why don't you like this? Okay, text base. <coughs> Story and quest. Okay. <coughs> 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 Japan company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known for widely successful arcade game Dinky King. The experts doubt the home gaming consoles will ever take off, but we'll be are, we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. All right then. Um, let's do sound design up and bring down the graphics and the world design. I want it to have like good music. It's based on the Cold War. Get rid of all my bugs. I don't care. Is it? Cool. We good? Oh, come on. Hmm. I want to be able to make sequels. There's a thing for making sequels, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It could have. Fun at stages. It's a text-based game. What are you talking about? All right. Hmm. Oops, wrong button. Let's see. 
Generate game report for Cold War. Hmm. Tess. Contracts. Hmm. Okay. Hey there, just finished Cold War. I'm impressed by your talent. I'm contacting business with like skills like dudes. If you're short in cash, let me know. I will see you if I have some work for you. Okay. Cool. Engine seems to not be important. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and research a custom game engine. I'm doing all right on money right now. Aw, you're welcome. Hi, Lunar Knight. We are the creators from Game Dev Tycoon, and we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support a little startup, and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Aw. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. I am having fun with it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I love you, too. Now create your own game engine. To so get started, close this message or click anywhere to bring up the actions menu. That's the research custom game engine. Thank you. Um, create custom engine. Let's go ahead and uh, make a save game. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make everything. I'm gonna call it the spy engine because spies seem to be really good. Spy in. you're not creating your own custom game engine, once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. <coughs> Spy engine. <sighs> Cold War is now off the market. All right, need to research sequels. <coughs> uh, oh, I need to. I need to generate a game report for that. I think I already did, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Spy engine is now complete. Actually, first custom game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. I would really like to make sequels. I don't care about topic. Um, develop new game. I said develop new game. Pick a topic. Pick a game engine, spy engine. Yeah. Let's go ahead and ooh, license costs eighty thousand. All right. So let's go ahead and make uh Oh, why did I do that for? Um This isn't going to be Spy Adventure 2, but it, it is going to be Spy's Friend. I'm going to make 2D Graphics version 2. Hmm. It's not a sequel. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn what works well and what doesn't so work so well. These insights are shown as hints in the development screen unless you have turned this option off in the settings. This hints range from plus 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 to minus minus and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you're not sure yet whether this holds true for a particular genre topic combination. All right. I'm gonna through the engines a little bit. Um, save game and linear story. Upgrade gameplay a little bit. Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna be broke. That's okay. Uh, dialogues, yes. Level design, AI can go down a bit. All right, it's all right. We're gonna do a contract after this. 
go to graphics and wall design. I'm gonna make it pretty even. Oof. Yep, I know I'm negative. Don't worry about it. Carolyn Richards from Local News. I've heard rumors that you're working on your next game and would love to do an interview about this. Do you have time? Sure. Great, thank you for your time. The interview should be published soon. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50000 but be careful. If your account balance is below $50,000, you will go bankrupt. Yeah, that's fine. Runner Games' as a local setup is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published three games and is working hard on their next. Your interview founder, Lunar Knight, said the next game is going to be Spy Adventure Games, something the company has done before. It's great to see a small local company enter exciting new industries. All the best luck to Lunar Games. Developing a great game is not only... Not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Maybe I'll get to do sequels soon. I want to do Spy Adventure 2. Cool. Release game. Research available game tutorials and mono sound. Huh. We good? First reviews are in. Hell yeah. Enjoyable. They called me enjoyable. Quirky, but good. Wait, quirky isn't good? Why wouldn't quirky be good? People are rude. All right. Generate game report for Spy's friends. And then I'm going to do contract work. Wow. You are selling a lot. Hmm. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. I beg to differ. Great music is always important. Find contract work. Contracts are useful to earn. You can also use it to do a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you have to pay a penalty, so it's much better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Okay, three weeks. Uh, all right, cool. Phase 14,000. I can do that. A simple library management system. Okay. <coughs> uh oh. Whew. Thank you for taking care of this for us. We'll transfer 40000 to your account. Just got word from the client the contract is completed successfully. Excellent work. I usually have new contracts every six months, so check back soon. Okay, cool. Um, game tutorials. Ooh, new topic. Let's do a cooking game. Why not? That sounds fun. Eh, in a minute. What do we research? Let's research game tutorials. I don't really care for mono sound that much. Ah, <sighs> okay. I sold a lot for Spies Friends. Just reach your first engine part. You'll be able to use this in your games. You need to create a new engine which includes this part. Oh, these are engine parts. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and research a new topic. Let's make a cooking game. Hmm. The recently released test home console by Nevento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations so far. One customer says, I love games that come with tests, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. I beg to differ. Successfully research a new topic. All right. Develop a new game. Um... I, no. Let's 
go ahead and pick the cooking topic. And it's going to be a strategy game. Um, we're going to go ahead and use our licensing. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use this. Pick a game engine. Let's use my spy engine. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is cheaper. Let's just do this. <coughs> Hook him up. Great. Let's do it. Uh, 2D graphics. Sounds good. Uh, gameplay. Story quest is not that important. Get the engine up a little bit. Aim. Gameplay is the most important for this. Strategy cooking game sounds really interesting. Uh, dialogues. Let's do level design up a little bit. So, I mean, come on, it's a strategy game. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Uh, wall design, the graphics, and didn't, you know what? We're just going to leave it where it is. I don't even know. Mm. Did I generate a research report for the other one? Mm. No bugs for me. <sighs> All right. Level up. My reviews are going to be so sour. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> I like it. All right. Okay. Um, generate game report for this. Recent studies suggest that increasing the variety of gaming devices also increases the market for a specialized gaming. Some platforms become more popular with the younger gamers, while others cater to the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Target audience. All right. Cooking and strategy is a bad combination. <laughs> You don't say. Oh, okay. Um, let's develop a new game. Um, wait, 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 wait. Let's do some contract work. Let's let's do it. Following the massive success of Test Console, there are now rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own soon. Okay. Eh. Hey. Just what we want to. It'll transfer 18000 to your account. Awesome. Do another contract work. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do one more. 12 and 13. Ooh. Pay us 23,000. Let's wait on that one. I don't think I can do that. Yeah. It's sold bad. All right. Um, let's research uh, target audience. Start research. Hmm. <coughs> Want to make a game for a younger crowd? Vino has confirmed the recent rumors about a new gaming console called the <laughs> Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful Test by an Invento and plans to release it in the coming months. All right, I need to get the licensing for both. Like for real. What are you doing? Develop a new game. Now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. 
Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and do a zombie action game. For the PC. I'm going to use my spy engine. Rated for mature. Because it's a zombie action game. Of course, you know, so is Plants vs. Zombies, but... Um, I... Night of the Zombos. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's do gameplay in the engine. The story quests aren't that important. Level design is important. AI is kind of important. Yeah, we're gonna leave that where it's at. Oof, I'm gonna go bankrupt in this game. Uh, graphics are really important. Sound is kind of important. Wall design, not so much. I'm Steve O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be able to give a review about it? Yeah, sure. Great, thanks for your time. We'll publish the interview next week. <sighs> Planet GG has recently published an interview with Lunar Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Lunar Knight, the owner and CEO, says, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts said sooner or later with mature themes, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Hype 11. <coughs> cool. Ah, I've been playing for like 30 minutes. This game is addictive. Man, I want to make a sequel to Spy Adventure. Come on. I want to develop a new engine before I do that, though. Hey, level up. Release game. Give me my money. Cool. Oh, wow, that's all over the place. Hey, you seem to like it, though. <coughs> Ooh, can I get a 10? I got a 9 now. <coughs> Outstanding. All right, cool. Give me my money. Woo! Hell yeah. Generate game report for Night of the Zombos. Hmm. I want to make the new one on the ma on the, on the V on the Master V. <laughs> uh, stirred up the market worldwide. Console is not very well marketed in North America, but it'll flourish in other parts of the world. Okay. Game report generated. Uh, zombie action is a great adventure. World design seems to be not very important. Okay, cool. Um, how do I get the uh, ability to g get this platform? Yes. Mature... Night of the Zombos to the Zombos Strike oh. Revenge. Oh. Okay. Pick a topic. Zombie action. It's going to be on the Master V, and it's going to be the Spy Engine. Okay. 2D graphics. Yep. <coughs> Gameplay and engine. Story quests are still pretty down. AI, dialogues, level 
design. And let's keep that up there. World design isn't very important though, so. Cool. World design isn't very important. I did sound a little bit though. Okay. <clears throat> awesome. New record. Be able to take more contract work now. Ooh, I can make another game engine. <laughs> awesome. Uh, but a Ooh, no, I haven't. No, not yet. The reviews aren't as good for for the second one. That's okay. I need to find some contract work uh, after I generate a game report for this game. God. Casual games. Huh. This game by Lunar Games has received reviewers scratching their heads trying to bring a new and innovative game back to the market. Company delivered another zombie action was more or less the same setting as the previous game. Yeah, it was for a different. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Having it like right after the other one, but it was on a different platform. All right. Companies have been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against the newer and more advanced PCs. Okay. Well. Cool. Master V immature is bad. Ah. Okay. Cool. At least I know. All right. I learned a thing now. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get some contract work, though. Mm. Er, excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? Are you serious? What are you doing? Why did you do that? Portable game device, the game link. device comes with changeable game cartridges, monochrome screen, and green background. Built in speakers, and even a multiplayer support via connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game link is overpowered, but given the lower cost and are underpowered, lower cost and excellent portability, might find a huge following. Game link is said to hit shelves next month. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, develop a new game. We're going to make this one targeted toward young people. It's going to be a cooking game. Uh, action cooking game. Platform is going to be the Master V. And it's going to use my spy engine. Game mate. Um... Uh... Chef kid. I don't know. Uh, 2D graphics. <clears throat> uh, let's bring the engine down a bit. Uh, AI level design is important. The dialogue is kind of important, but not nearly as much. Actually, artificial intelligence is pretty important. Let's leave it there. <coughs> I have a lot of research points. I just don't have the money for shit. Uh, graphics is important. And world design is not very important. Yay.
work out the bugs. Anything else? Hey, another point in design. Another point in design. Do we have more? If I just sit here and wait, will you just keep giving me points? <coughs> okay, we're gonna finish. My design, that's a new record for my design. Okay, release game. What do you got for me? Oh boy. Oh, okay. All right. Door isn't locked. What is he doing? Hello, I am recording. All right. Can I generate a game report? Please. Thank you. Hmm. Marketing. Okay. By what? I'm sorry. Yikes. Ow. I'm sorry. I haven't either. I'm sorry. Um. What genre? Ow. Okay. Uh, ba -ba Let's do some contract work while this is selling. All right. Cool. Ooh, that made me a lot of money. I don't think there's any more contract work. Oh, there is. Yeah, okay. time. Ah, if you have more than one mil in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. Might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll get to this amount easily. Okay. Ah. They're making their own portable game. Infinite Gear. Ah. Playing Game Dev Tycoon. Aw, I was so close. That was just mean. All right, I uh, need a new custom engine with game tutorials. No, that's not worth. Uh, let's get a new game. Uh, Post-apocalyptic. Strategy game. Uh, on the PC. Use my spy engine. Totally not Fallout. Uh, reloaded. Yep. <coughs> um, it's a strategy game, so the story and quest is important, not as important as gameplay. Okay. Um, AI, level design, dialogues is important for strategy games. Level design, AI, there we go. Hmm. Some great world design a bit. The sound design is kind of important. Download graphics a bit. Okay, vinegar. Work out the bugs. More design and finish. 108 research points, hell yeah. Hmm, level up my graphics. Cool. Go ahead and research 
um, marketing. Okay. Wow, oh, these could go all over the place. All right. You don't like it. All right, that's fine. Uh, after this, we'll generate a game report. Oh, wow. Sold a lot. Rank 32. Rank 38. Uh, cool. Awesome. Let's generate the game report for this. Have it, I've almost been playing for an hour. G64 will take it off the market. Oh no. PC will never be off the market. I don't think. <sighs> okay. Alright. Post apocalyptic and strategy is a combination, and AI seems to be important for this. Okay. Let's do some research. Um, casual games. Mm. I don't care about new topic. Ooh, 3D graphics. I can make a new spy adventure game. Mono sound. Uh, no. Okay. Develop a new game. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Actually, let's do some research into a new topic. A rhythm game. I like that idea. Start research. Oh, surprise today is uh, file for break. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Hmm. All right. Cool. All right. And create a new game for everyone, big genre, um, action, rhythm game, platform is going to be, I think I'm going to make it for the vinegar, yeah, and I'll use my spy engine. I don't know how to spell rhythm. Rhythm arrow. Okay. All right. Obviously, sound is really important. Uh, gameplay and engine story and quest is considerably less important for this. Yep. <coughs> Okay. Hmm. Also important to know, no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. All right. Magazines and demos. Small campaign. Oh, God, no. You know what? I am going to do this. Oh, I don't have the money for it. Let's go ahead and market in magazines. Got a little bit of hype. Um, AI is really important. Dialogue is considerably less important. Level design, AI. <coughs> mm. Hype is two. Hype is three. Hype is going up. Graphics is important. Sound is important. World design is considerably less important. All right. New record and technology. All right. Gameplay up. Cool. 
level up a lot of things. Release game. Better user experience. Simple cutscenes and level editor. Hmm. All right. Hey, people like it. Cool. All right. Cool. Hmm. Generate a game report. Select. Hell yeah. Damn. People really liked that. Graphics seems to be really important, obviously. Cool, all right. Get some contract work while we wait. Get another contract work. Ooh, that's a little high for me. That's a little better. Eh. All right. I think I'm actually going to end the episode there. I've been playing this for almost an hour. It's very addictive. I'm probably going to play this on my own time versus on the computer with you guys. I'm sorry. Unless you guys actually do want to see more of this, just let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever Decided to Make. Lunar Nut signing out.